so we are given a linked list and um, we are given the head of the singly linked list and we act are asked to reverse the list so basically what are we doing is uh, we are flipping the arrows here so we flip the arrows from 5 to 4 from 4 to 3 3 to 2 2 to 1 then we get our reverse link list now what's what could be the logic behind solving it i'll show you the logic that i use and basically this logic is used by most of us like many of us and this is like the very popular logic and if any of you are using something new then please let me know in the comments below okay so we are given our head and we know the end of the root i mean like the end of the link list always points to null right even though we cannot see it because it's null so so the next of the last node always points to null so here you here also um one is actually pointing to null now we, we that is what we want to do here right so what i'm gonna do is i take a variable previous so i define a variable previous i um put a value null here and then I take my head and then um, what I want is my head next of my head that is the current value one next to point to null right so head that next I'm just writing in the sort form head that next equals to so I'll po point it to my previous value okay so that, that this is what i what uh, i i will have to do to point one to null now let's see so what i'm gonna do, i'm doing here is i have my head i define a previous let me just use variable p p is equals to null and then here my head next of my head is pointing to previous so what i do is i point it to here now now see here what's the problem here um so once i change the next of my head to point to something else i lose the i lose the track of my other data so i lose this data here now there is no way i can access the this data because there is no variable pointing to this data right so before i actually change my next pointer to point to the previous value what i'm gonna do is i need to uh, create a variable next so next before pointing it so next i'll just write n and then next should be the next of the head so this is how we actually store the next of the head and now i have the next of the head i have the head i have the previous value now i change my pointer of head to point it to the previous value so this will actually be re removed automatically and next what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna iterate the same thing again so uh, now my previous becomes my head so this is my previous now and my head becomes the next value here and my next becomes the next of my head so now i'll do the same thing again i'm repeating this thing again so what i did is after my head next i um my previous value becomes my head and then my head becomes my next and then now i'm repeating this thing again so i keep on repeating this whole thing my next is head of next now my head of next becomes the previous so this will point in this direction and then my previous becomes head so now my previous becomes 
my head and my head becomes the next node and my next node becomes the next of the head so you could see we are doing the same thing repeatedly right uh, you could see like this could be a this is a sub sub list and I did the same thing with this list a uh, reverse list and uh, now I'm gonna do the same thing with this thing as well right so I'm just all I'm doing is shifting my previous and my head and the next is just the next of the head so let me dive into the code so we are going to uh, build a recursive function and one thing the age case so um when my head um let me just show you the edge case um, when i have done all of these and these right so at that at this time my head is here this is my previous and this is my next and then i move my head here or before that i actually move my previous to my head and then my head to the next and my next is equals to null right and then i change the arrow here and then again my previous becomes equals to head my head becomes the next and my next is yet to define determine but here look here um if i try to calculate my next which is equals to uh, next of head i'll get an error so when my head is equals to null that is when i stop that is when i stop and then i return my answer and my answer is stored in the previous right so that is where what my edge case will be so when my head is null i return my previous i'm just gonna change um, modify the whole function previous and initially previous will be null as i told you earlier i defined previous to be null right so that is what i will be doing here and then now um my previous is null so now my i have my head now i need to define my next so that i have the next right now i have my previous i had my next and head and i have my next now i'm gonna change the next of the head to previous and then my pre and then i'm just gonna call the whole function again r e v e r s r e v e oops reverse list reverse list so my head new head is the next right new head is the next and i shift my previous to head so this is what i do Oops. my new head is my next and my head is my previous is my head now and my head is the next that is what i did here right i changed my previous to head and my head to next so that is what i'm doing my head is next my previous is the head and then finally um returning the value let us check some more edge cases i mean some more test cases great um let's submit it now i'm talking about the time complexity the time complexity is o of n because we are traversing through all of the nodes right so it's o of n and the space complexity is o of one because we are not using any space at all okay have a great day guys